So we're here at uh, CES 2010 at Touch Revolution. And uh, what are you doing? So this is uh, welcome to Touch Revolution. I'm Mark Hamlin. Uh, and uh, what we're showing today is our Nimble module, our NIM 1000. This is a drop-in module for uh, creating a great touch interface on any type of device. Whether that device is an appliance at home, a medical device, a phone, a home phone, enterprise phone, anything being used to, to integrate, um, this uh, yeah. can integrate a great touch interface into a product. So basically what you do is you provide a 7-inch Android tablet for anything. Sure. Correct. It's, a, it's not just a tablet. Uh, yeah, it can be used, it can be sold as in this form factor without an enclosure. Can you see around? Yes, absolutely. So here's the capacitor screen on the front and our uh, custom design board with an ARM processor on the back. Powerful one? Uh, it's, it's quite powerful. It's, yeah. uh, this, on this specific version, we have a uh, Marvell PXA310 processor. Cool. Um, but we have other platforms in development with uh, processors from TI and uh, some other companies as well. Super powerful ones. Yes, we have some. Uh, we have some very fast ones. This one's at 806 megahertz. Cool. So what we can do with this is, like I said, we can drop it into appliances. Here we have a mock-up of a uh, touchscreen interface um, with Android underneath. So we're talking at the, uh, about the dryer, Android yeah. so dryer. This is a washing machine, actually. It's uh, underneath is Android, but we, what we've done is we put a custom interface on it. Uh, we still take a lot of uh, take advantage of a lot of the advantages of Android. Um, for example, we can uh, here we have a, a guide for um, getting stains out of clothing. So you can select what stain you have here. We have a, a list with a nice scrolling feature um, that was built into uh, just because it's built into Android. And we can select um, we can select the uh, uh, different stain and it'll tell us um, how to get the stain out. We then can, um, we can go to just the general interface of the washing machine. It's very easy to select your different settings, load size, wash type, and just hit the start wash, and it'll give you a countdown timer showing. Uh, this is yeah, like totally crazy. crazy, and it sends you like an email when you. It finish. could send you an email when you're finished, absolutely. Or send, or makes it Twitter. You, you, could, you can you, go. Yeah, and... You could tweet about your laundry. That's correct. <laughs> That's uh, very funny. And so we have a fabric guide, so you can say, "Oh, I'm doing uh, a bunch of cotton." that recommends some settings, and you can just hit use these settings and it will automatically um, set the washing machine appropriately. Uh, we also have a symbol guide in here for, um, uh, for decoding those cryptic symbols that the, of the care instructions that you find on your tags. Yeah, I never so understand again, anything in my washing machine. <laughs> exactly. So uh, again, easy to easy to scroll through this list. And does it even like draw from Wikipedia, like uh, the old information about the washing? It certainly or? could. You know, that yeah. that would just be another app on the device. Um, but with Android on here, yeah. um, that's all possible. And then you have it on over so here. Here we have a uh, all-in-one printer. Um, so this is. Um, we have an all-in-one printer, the home screen here, you can just directly print documents, maps, coupons, tickets, uh, without a PC. Um, you can use it for just the, the print, scan, copy, fax as well. Cool. Um, and this is just it's like a, it's a, a better interface. Is it mock-up? Uh, yeah, this is a mock-up. This yeah. is a mock-up. This is not, we're not uh, showing any That's cool. So you can automatically here. print uh, blogs, blog posts, as soon as they're posts. Posted, you print them immediately. Print them immediately, right, right, exactly. Or whatever things from the internet. Yep, and then we have another product over here, which is the, uh, which is a, a uh, microwave running Android. So this would be a uh, more wow. microwave, microwavey type Seven -inch interface. Seven-inch Android microwave. That's correct. That's, That's really correct. Cool. And, you know, we can so we can also have the regular uh, Android home screen. It's probably not the best interface for a microwave, though. So instead. Um, we're showing the um, this microwave app, and uh, you can use it to select foods to to defrost quickly. You can use it to automatically set the uh, the time just with one touch, uh, and then hit start, and, and the uh, microwave would run. So what you've done there is you've you've made Android apps for microwave, washing machine, and the printer. Right, we're not the apps company. Yeah. Um, we are the platform provider of the hardware and the software. But you did some apps just for yeah, we did some we did some demo apps, right? So apps. this is all based on this uh, Nimble yeah. module, and this Nimble module we then sell to to OEMs uh, to in easily integrate touch into their device. So it's pre-qualified, pre-tested, yeah. ready to go. So what is that, for example? Uh, so here we have a development kit. This is what we um, provide to our customers as an easy way to get started working with our product. Um, so an appliance company would buy this um, as a starting point um, so they could quickly prototype their device uh, and then later optimize it for, uh, for production. We also have a phone here. Um, Seven inch Android phone. Awesome. Yes, correct. Uh, and so we have a completely customized Android interface here. You've got your favorites. Uh, these are all widgets just on the home screen. You can drag them around. Um, you've got uh, your, your, your um, 
schedule for the day. Then you can pull up all the applications, the Android applications here in this drawer. Pull up all the phone options here down in this drawer. You speaker phone, do not disturb, things like that. Uh, and then you've can got, we go to your settings? Uh, settings. I can't go to settings on this uh -huh. right now. But uh, actually, I'll show you this when you when you pick up the phone, uh, the uh, dialer automatically comes out. How do you do that? So we have a sensor in here, just a regular hook switch. Uh, really? It's an inductive hood switch, and so it, it triggers the uh, triggers an event in the software. You can do voice over IP. Yes, this is a voice over IP. So you can do a SIP direct or uh, we, Google Voice. Yeah, we can. It, uh, to do a true enterprise class yeah. uh, SIP implementation, it requires uh, work not only in Android but in Linux underneath. So okay. it, there's a there's a lot that has to be done in doing the voice engine and yeah. the echo cancellation, and all that is difficult to do inside the JVM and Android. It's it's better to do that. Uh, natively in Linux. That's something that you can do. You can, yes. you ha you can help doing. Yes, we and uh, ourselves and our partners um, yeah. can work together to uh, to bring this to market for an OEM. Cool. So uh, it's available. You, 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 yeah. So the, the NIM 1000 module is available today, um, and uh, you can see it here in all, in all of these products. This is the this is the module that's in everything we have here in the booth. Um, like I said, ready today. And it's capacitive. And it's projected capacitive touch. Same same type of technology as in many of the mobile phones. Seven inch. And how about the Google Marketplace? So Google this Marketplace. This is 800 the, times 480, 480. This is 800 by 480 WVGA screen. Um, it depends on what our customers want to do with uh, selling apps. They can either they can either uh, work with Google to, uh, to to try to tie into the Google Marketplace, uh, set up a third-party application store, a white-labeled application store, or some of them just use it as a, a standalone device for not not adding any third-party. But you applications. don't need the apps, maybe. Yeah, for some of you, don't need the apps. The washing machine, yeah. for example. But you're totally um, sure that Google will provide the marketplace. Uh, it can happen. It, it depends on the it depends on the device and yeah. it depends on our customer. So that's yeah. a work in progress. It's a work in progress with each specific customer. Yeah. It's not a hard and fast rule that Google will do that or yeah. won't do that. And they'll all have the latest version of Android? Could uh, everything we have in the booth today is based on Cupcake, but okay. we're working on a, on a update to uh, Eclair yeah. and everything that comes after that. Cool. Thanks. How about just tablets? It's seven inch tablets. Yeah, we have one over here. Um, there it is. Yeah, so this is our tablet. This is a this version here is actually a home phone. It's a decked client. Yeah. Um, so it's a cordless phone. You can it's battery powered. We use to uh, to go throughout the home. You actually make phone calls on it and um, um, make phone calls on it uh, and carry it with you. So maybe you take it in your living room. Maybe you take it in the kitchen. It never leaves your home. Um, so it's not this ultra mobile. Uh, MID or anything like that. It's, instead, it's a home device. We believe in location-specific devices tied to specific services, which is what this is. This is a special home home screen that you've done. Yes, yeah, so this is a, a, again a customization of Android, um, and you can see that it's very easy to swipe around and, and uh, use the gesture features in Android with this capacitive screen. And then you go. So back. I can. I'm actually going to show you right now. Um, oops. I'm going to show you right now. Dialing my. Uh, Dialing one of my phones here. Really? Decked, did you say? This is decked, right. So we have a deck base station here in the booth. So there's a base station somewhere. Correct. And then it goes through that, through uh, what kind of wireless technology? Uh, decked, deck, oh, yeah. right. And here's my phone running. It's calling. That's so cool. And uh, how long is the battery life on this? Battery life on this, on this right now is time. is uh, between two and three hours, but we're optimizing that yeah. to uh, increase the battery life with different power management features. Can we look around just a little bit? Yeah, let me uh, make sure I hang up that phone call. Yeah. And, and can ahead. we look around uh, what you have here in this prototype? Like, uh, do you have connectors and stuff? Mm -hmm. You have a USB host, USB USB host, USB client, um, SD card, headphone connector. Um, yeah power connector. We so, can add and subtract other ones as well. Yeah. So right now you based on the Marvel which which one exactly? We're based on the Marvel PXA three ten currently. Yeah. Eight hundred uh, something megahertz. Eight hundred and six megahertz. Yeah. Um, but we have other platforms available with uh, something other else as well? Yes. You can do uh, like I mentioned we have a, a, a platform based on the TI processor, yeah. Map three and some other platforms as well. So uh, it's gonna be you could you can provide even faster if people want that. You can provide, the, uh, we, we can, provide you know, all kinds of we can we can provide proof. all kinds of, of all kinds of platforms. Um, obviously, we are where we bring value is we have uh, designs that are already done and ready to integrate. 
Uh, and so that's where our value comes from, not being able to do anything, but being able to do touch devices, touch interfaces very, very well. Cool, thanks.